Welcome back. In sports, SPPNG Hunters winger Justin Ollam has taken out the 2016 Forex People's Choice Award overnight at the 2016 Intra Super Cup Awards Night in Brisbane. This is the third time an SPPNG Hunter has won the prestigious award. He was also nominated for the Rookie of the Year and Intra Super Cup Team of the Year. Gregory Avira reports. Landing an NRL contract, N.A. Kumu's jumper on his debut as ASP PNG Anta in the Intra Super Cup has already marked a milestone for Justin Olam. Last night in Brisbane, the symbol lad took out one of the Intra Super Cup's most celebrated award, the 2016 Forex People's Choice Award. It is, it is a wonderful achievement and I achieved it, but I still have a lot to achieve in life, especially in my rugby career, so I'll go further. The Melbourne-bound winger was also nominated for a Rookie of the Year and Intra Super Cup Team of the Year. However, fell short in second. However, fell short in second spot, respectively. I was nominated for three spots, but then I came second and the other two. The other one is the team to, uh, to make the year team, but I missed out on the wing spot and also the Rookie of the Year. This is the third consecutive year Ayanta has been awarded for their performance. In 2014, Willie Minoga took out the award, followed by Uka Waltovo Jr. in 2015. Olam's achievements only cements the concept that the PNG Rugby Football League created to provide a pathway for elite players, elevate the standard of rugby league in the country, and export and expose players to a higher level of rugby league. Gregory Avira, NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. The PNG Rugby Football League Referees Director, Joe Paragua, released a statement condemning actions by Mount Hagen Eagles officials, players and supporters. The incident has also raised question of security measures taken by the venue management and Digital Cup board during the games. With, with the grand final two days away, there is yet to be a confirmation of referees to officiate at the grand final match schedule for this Saturday. Gregory Avira reports. Amateur footage caught at the Sejon Guy Stadium last weekend shook the rugby league fraternity in the country. The incident has raised the question of whether there is enough security personnel engaged to ensure the safety of referees, players, officials and spectators during the Digicel Cup matches and what measures are the PNG Rugby Football League and Digicel Cup board going to take now. In a statement, PNG RFL Referees Director Joe Peregua condemned the actions taken by the Mount Agen official, players and spectators and called for the governing body, PNG Rugby Football League, to continue its efforts to educate fans of the game by publicizing its decisions on such incidents. The Digital Cup Board and PNG NRL are yet to end down a decision on the incident. The grand final match between the Lay Snakes Tigers and Egma Gurias is to be held this Saturday in Port Mosby. However, PNG NRL says there is no confirmation yet on who will be officiating the match. Gregory Avira, NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. The 2016 National Confederates Under-16 and Under-18 Rugby League Championships kicked off in Ley yesterday morning. The Under-16 tournament was opened by PNG RFL Chairman Sandy Chaka, while PNG RFL Southern Confederate Director Guaibo Mairi opened the Under-18 competition. Paul Tomic Jr. with this report. The junior divisions got off to the games despite a slow start showing great skills and talent. Chairman Chaka says he's impressed at the manner in which good sportsmanship was displayed by the young players. The embrace of team players after each game has left a positive impression on PNG RFL officials, with Chaka saying developing a trade at a young age in sports will better players in their field of play. At the conclusion of the games later today, a representative team will be announced and the champion confederate will be presented their trophy. The best player, best back and best forward for the respective divisions will also be announced. The women's and under-20s play tomorrow. Paul Tomic Jr., NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. 
The inaugural Don't Drink and Drive T20 Big Bash Legends Bash is set for tomorrow at the Amini Park in Port Moresby. The cricket tournament has been running for seven years now and has been awarded the global best marketed event out of test playing countries. Four new faces will participate in this year's event. Chris Martin from New Zealand, Jeff Swampy Marsh, Jeff Henry Lawson and Lisa Stalica. Bradley Gregory with the details. This year is the seventh year running for the inaugural Pacific MMI Don't Drink and Drive T20 Legends Big Bash Series. Last year was a successful one with Catherine Fitzpatrick, Adam Holioki, Brad Hodge and Mark Gredbatch gracing the tournament. This year four new faces from Australia and New Zealand will be participating. Chris Martin from New Zealand Joff Swampy Marsh, Joff Henry Lawson and Lisa Staleka from Australia. The inaugural event has been praised globally, the International Cricket Council recognizing it as the best marketed event out of a non-test playing nation. The Big Bash Legends T20 Challenge starts tomorrow and ends with the finals on Saturday. Bradley Gregory, NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. Meanwhile, visiting female cricket legend Lisa Stalica says cricket is one tool that can be used to promote women's issues in PNG. Stalica is part of four visiting legends participating in the inaugural Legends T20 Big Bash series starting tomorrow. Again, Bradley Gregory with this report. Lisa Stalica from Australia is the only female member of the visiting legends. Stalica has been recognized in the world of cricket, rated as the leading all-rounder. It's the first time she's here in PNG. She is looking forward to the experience. I'm really looking forward over the next couple of days getting out about to the different communities um, and seeing Papua New Guinea. It's been on my bucket list, so I'm glad that I'm able to tick it off. My experiences as a player, you know, cricket has taken me to all parts of the globe and now all of a sudden I'm in Papua New Guinea and um, hopefully sharing the message that cricket really is a sport for all. Stalika is a staunch supporter of women in cricket and believes Papua New Guinea has a strong team in the PNG Lewas. She believes cricket can be a tool for promoting women's issues and children's rights. I think cricket is a great game. It teaches you a lot of life lessons and I think one that really resonates for me is that you have to respect everyone. Bradley Gregory, NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. The Hebo PNG Barramundi's tour of Australia and their match-up with Australian state teams saw its first match and yesterday. The Hebo PNG Barramundi's were in high spirits against a strong Tasmanian side made of some of the current and former Australian test cricketers. The Barras were first to bat on the field showing great promise. But the Tasmanians kept them at bay with only Captain Asad Vala and Vani Vagi Moria reaching double figures at a top battling order. Bowled out on the 49th over, falling short by four wickets, middle order batsman Norman Vanua was the highest scorer of the match with 66 runs. Experience was with Tasmania. They ended their innings and the match in the 35th over, 6 for 168. The Tasmanian team management acknowledged the PNG side for their fighting spirit after posting 164 runs after being down for 8 for 81. Moving on, a local boxing club in the National Capital District had the privilege of training with the country's representative to the recent Rio Olympic Games, Thaddeus Katua, yesterday. Boxers from the Vaibori 21 Boxing Club in Tokorara were taken through a one-hour session aimed at improving their boxing techniques. Accompanying Katua was the national boxing coach, Joe Alpha. Gregory Avera reports. Working the pads may seem like a simple routine. But boxing in itself requires great technique. Attaining that perfect stance before landing a jab, as basic as it may seem, this is an important part of boxing. Of course, this is something these young boxers would have had time and again from their coach. But this particular training session is extra special. They got to train with an Olympian. For many, competing at renowned international competitions is only a dream. But for young Katua, this has become reality in the space of four years. Two months away from turning 19, 
Katua has conquered the Pacific region in the 60 kilogram division and is the reigning youth boxer of his category in the Commonwealth Nations. Instilling the required skills to upcoming boxers is something Katua is passionate about. Katua will return to Bougainville tomorrow. With the PNG Games coming up, Katua will be involved with preparing fellow boxers from the autonomous region. Gregory Avira, NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. And Antonia, that will be it for sports for tonight. Thank you, Dougie. Stay with us. We'll return after the break with the finance news. Thank <laughs> you.